And so, uh, unfortunately, uh, there's a no the the presentation, clinical presentations, very vary in in Wilson disease. Sometimes they present with hepatitis, and sometimes they present uh, with a psychiatric issue. Sometimes they present with a uh, brain damage syndromes like a Parkinson-like syndromes. So uh, they have a very variable clinical presentations that make uh, the early recognition and screening and diagnosis very difficult. That's a very challenging part for physicians to, to diagnose this Wilson disease patient. This is why we sometimes miss the diagnosis and they come to our clinic after developing serious complications. They, they present their the first symptoms could be very variable, but mostly uh, some hepatic uh, dysfunctions like uh, liver enzymes elevations. Uh, uh, the by the hepatologists, mostly hepatologists, that uh, GI doctors um, could make that diagnosis uh, when they present with a hepatitis or acute liver failure or liver cirrhosis. Sometimes they present with the psychiatric symptoms, so, so it could be sometimes from psychiatrist or a neurologist with some neurologic deteriorations around uh, late adolescent period. Once we uh, diagnose this patient, we have to confirm by the genetic analysis because there is no single test that we can confirm the diagnosis. So after uh, screening many parameters, lab testings, then we have to confirm the diagnosis by genetic analysis. Once confirmed the diagnosis by the genetic, and then we start either with the chelating agent like a triantin. This uh, the medication binds with the copper very strongly, and then excretes those copper outside the body. Or sometimes it could be a zinc salts. So zinc can prevent from absorbing those copper through the GI tract, and so we treat them either with the chelating agents like a triantin or a zinc salts as a management uh, treatment.